vision boards. I'm a very visual person. I, I love listening to stuff, but do you know what? When I see something, I can really envisage myself doing those things. This is the whole idea around vision boards. So, you know, back in book one um, and throughout the journey, uh, revamp journey as well, we have done goals. Vision boards are a visual reflection of your goals and it just kind of supercharges it and takes it to another level, you know, because when we're busy and when we're firefighting throughout the day and trying to reach our goals, <laughs> but with all the other distractions that come into life, sometimes it's just nice to who refocus and focus on the goals. And so I love using my vision board here. Um, you know, in my office, I have vision boards all over the place. And so they look like this. <laughs> I write vision boards for different areas of my life. I write them around my own personal health, what I want to achieve. Um, I have them for my career. I have them for family and relationships. I have them for travel. Um, and so all those kinds of things, it really is, you know, getting a whole bunch of magazines or looking online and, and printing some off. You can do a, a virtual one if you want, make one online if you have that kind of software, or you can make them uh, on big pieces of paper as I do here. These are, you know, some of my, um, some of my personal health goals that I have and they change all the time. And so I really want to inspire you to do a vision board. It can be one board with everything on one board, or you can split it into different categories uh, as well. Have them in art as art in your office or put them in your diary where no one can see them. Whatever suits you, you go ahead and do. But you know, the next time you see something in a magazine that you like, cut it out and put it on your vision board. Again, it's going to pull you towards that vision. Um, and, and they're just wonderful to look at as well. They're beautiful things. They just might be that little bit of inspiration that you need on that day when you're not feeling 100% um, or when things aren't going well. Uh, and that's how I use them. So, you know, um, you know, we're not on a high all the time throughout our life. Life and our energy and our emotions are these waves. And so sometimes when we're in a low wave, we need all these in this toolbox, which I've created for you throughout the book. And this is just another bit of a toolbox that when you're in a low, you pull things out of the toolbox and use them as and when to make sure that up curve of our energy and our vision starts on that upward um, movement again. You know, we can either spiral up or we can spiral down. When you start spiraling down and you start feeling anxious and depressed, then, you, you know, we want to dip into that toolbox to lift us back up again. And the reason why we're doing stuff and the reason why we're sharing our lives with everyone that we share. So I want you to live your best life. I want you to play full out with your vision board. And do you know what? It, some things may seem unachievable and that doesn't matter, right? It's, it's something to reach for, something to pull us out of our comfort zone and to live your best life. So enjoy your vision boards and I'll see you at the end of the month.